Hi, good evening. I am poem praise to peace and blessings to you. I do have an evening read for you. We are going to be coming out of How to Eat the Crust First. We are in chapter number five. We have already went over two out of four sections in this chapter because this chapter is entitled Passion. So we already went over emotion and devotion. Now for this take, we will be going over intensity and fire. So without further ado, intensity is you will always have to have you will always have to intensify your passion. Why is this important? Hmm. The level of intensity will determine how much of your passion you have. Now, from time to time, people lose their intensity when this happens. Loss of intensity allows the influence of other people to impact your ability to achieve your dreams. My passion is strong that my intensity level is a 10. I do not let anybody deter me from my goals. Remember to always fight for what you want. Intensity is very important for another reason. Name the reason here. When people see how intense your level of passion is, they will be drawn to your vision because your passion is visible. When you speak about it, they may even hear the passion and your voice. Always be mindful of your intensity level because others may be watching. Now, when your intensity level is a 10, your passion will be unstoppable. When your passion is strong, your vision becomes even bolder. And then you are more likely to achieve your dreams. When your intensity is strong, it doubles your passion. When your passion is strong, makes your vision more clear. Fire. You will always have to light a fire under your passion. Why do you need to light a fire. Hmm. Amazing things happen when you light a fire under your passion. You'll have a hunger drive about something that God gave to you and only you. It also starts from within yourself. You have to believe that nothing can stop you. You are the only one that can stop yourself. You are your biggest enemy and critic. Be strong and keep your drive because you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Some people are not open to difficult things. They lack the drive and ambition to have passion for what they love to do. Sometimes they are too quick to give up on their passions. If you can just hold on to your belief that you have the passion to get what you love, then your dream is worth fighting for. What is your passion? 
uh, burning inside of you that the world needs to see. Hmm. Who's stopping you from moving forward? Hmm. I'm saying this to you, but I'm also saying it to myself too, people. For real, for real. Seriously, fam. I think people need to get out of their own way and don't lose focus on your passion. And to complete this chapter, I have a poem that's entitled Passion. It's going to break each letter of the word down. P is for popular, liked by all. A is for affirmative, seeking the positive in others. S is for smart, a keen intellect. S is for sensible. You always do the right thing. I is for influential. Your opinions count. O is for orderly. Ever organized. N is for noble. An honorable heart. That does complete chapter number five. So I would like for you to stay tuned to Poem Praise 2. For when we read out of How to Eat the Crust First, Chapter 6, the title is Determination. Now it's four sections. I'm going to give you a preview, okay? We're going to go over craving, hunger, focus, and meditation. So I do thank you for listening to this evening read of how to eat the crust first. I do want for you and your family, I want for you to be safe, to be well, and let us all continue to heal. It be at thy will. I, poem praise too, I'll talk and I'll see you later, 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 y'all. All right. Till next time. Peace and blessings.